it's Tuesday, March 1st, and we are coming to you live from the Shaw Building in beautiful Kuwaitan, Ontario. I'm Megan Dacucci. And I'm Deborah Kirkshank. And it's blast from the past week on Good Morning Kenora. <laughs> Deb, uh, who are you wearing today? I'm wearing Leona Finn. Excellent. Yeah, this is actually my grandmother's dress. She wore it to my mother's graduation. But um, we were talking about, because of course it's also, what day is it today, Megan? It's Oscar recap day with our very own <laughs> Ryan Seacrest, AKA Rick Brignall. <laughs> and he is also all glammed up, so we're gonna be visiting him in the studio uh, in a little bit. And we're gonna be talking about everything Oscar. Woohoo! So we decided to get all glammed up. Have a little blast from the past this morning. Yes. We also have Heather Patterson in the studio. Uh-oh, Debbie's mic is having a wardrobe uh, malfunction. Fix it? It's okay. Okay. It's just miking into your body. We also <laughs> have Heather Patterson on the show this morning from Tourism Kenora. And this is, I guess, the real inspiration for our Blast from the Past week because it is the Winter Carnival this weekend, and it starts on Friday. So we're going to be sitting with Heather, and she's going to give us all the... Juicy All the intel. Speaking of a blast from the past, I don't know if anybody's had the chance to look out the window this morning yet, but it's currently minus 10 and snowing and blowing and it's back to winter. So I think it's the theme for this weekend, winter carnival. Let's have one last big hooray. It's minus 17 with the wind chill. It's only getting up to minus 15 this morning and the wind chill will dip down to minus 27. So hopefully this sort of blows over and the weekend is looking warmer, minus six, minus 13, minus nine. So stay tuned. Perfect for winter carnivaling. So Jack gave me a road report this morning, but it hasn't been updated since like 9, 10 last night. So we're not even going to look at it. The roads are very slippery this morning because we did get that snow overnight and it is currently snowing. I think there's some ice under there. So drive carefully this morning. The visibility is not that great. It's poor. It's even, you know, that little dip in Norman coming to Kuwaitan? You, it's almost white out there. That's crazy. Yeah. Wherever the wind can get at the road, you can't see a thing. So be cautious. Is this what you skiers would call fresh pow? Um, well, us <laughs> skiers don't. I've never heard of fresh pow. Oh, <laughs> it sounds good, though. Like, let's hit the slopes. Good. There's this fresh pow. Is, um, actually, if you are a competitive skier, this is like the worst conditions <laughs> ever. Oh. Because you can't see anything. I thought fresh snow was good, though, for skiers. Fresh snow, but blowing little ice chunks isn't, you know. All right. Yeah. I thought we could get the insider's, like, skier scoop there, I wish. It's light. Like, the snow is getting lighter. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, like... You know, Northern Ontario, pow. That's all right. Yeah. That's good. Oh, Jack's showing us a shot of the outside here. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It's bright out. Yeah, it's definitely that, nice and bright out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. He had to give a shot because apparently that's all we were looking at. So. Now, I read something on the news this morning online that meteorologists are predicting that we're going to have a very frigid spring. Like the next three mm -hmm. months are going to be colder, I guess, than normal. And I March, don't want to know about this. I, well, it's not a good news story. And the headline <laughs> said, was the groundhog wrong? Oh, no. I can't believe that, you know, a 100% accurate prediction <laughs> method may not be correct. Anyway, we'll that, see what happens. Where did you read that? I didn't need to know that this early I know. in the morning. I read it on the on the news. Oh no. CBC. Well, where's the farmer's almanac when we I need to? I don't know. Him? Let's get one. We should get we'll one. Refer to it daily. Um, very exciting show. Um, we have a lot of surprises today with, of course, all the Oscar talk. And Heather Patterson talking about Winter Carnival, and we're updating on events and registrations and whatnot. And then at the very end, we have a super big Shaw surprise for you. Get ready, Kenora. <laughs> it's mage. It's going to be we're mage. We're in the Winter Carnival spirit. I blast know. from the past. I'm wearing my Winter Carnival best today. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Slash Oscar. I think this should be the Winter Carnival princess dress. I know. I tell You have to talk about okay. this dress, though, because it's fabulous. So this dress 
is my grandmother's and she wore it to my mother's graduation which Megan and I were sort of crunching some numbers this morning and that was like 42 years ago. That's wild and crazy and I adore it. It is floor length. You can't tell at the table right now but it, we'll get this a shot. dress oh. doesn't stop. This Don't is, this is danger. Yeah, my uh, Ugg boots in here because they're crazy. Oh and Jax I'm out of frame now. Jax trying to get me. I'll just lean back and watch this. How do you go stand down. on the red carpet? This looks like um, 1970 Barbie, what you have on today, and I adore it. And Thanks. also, we might say it's very that this shade of violet was very popular at the Oscars this year, but we're going to be talking that, about that with Rick. There were a few purple dresses at the Oscars this year. <sighs> I myself am wearing a retro dress as well. It's from 2008, <laughs> ordered from the Victoria's Secret catalog. Excellent. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. We'll have more wardrobe details and whatnot. Um, let's, you know, sort of step out of winter for a little bit and into spring and into summer. And for the next couple of weeks, we are going to be running um, a few things from Parks Canada. They're celebrating 125 years this wow. year. Very exciting. So for the next few weeks, we'll be featuring some of Canadians parks and the best Canadian destinations. So. If you're thinking summer and you know you can't be on the beach but maybe this summer you're going to check out a park check out this clip and we'll be back with some oscar and winter carnival action